All right, we're off to a good start. We got a hip hop gamer show. Not the hip hop gamer show, just the hip hop gamer show. Instagram filters need not apply, and yo, oh, yo, what's up? all right. It's the one and only hip hop gamer. You already know what it is. Listen, right, I guess listen. we know what it is, Cardis. Uh, um, what I want yeah, I to know, know what it is. I mean, what I want to know what it is is why is that mess over there on the left-hand side? The order. Was he in such a rush to make this video he couldn't spruce up the place a bit? Maybe he just doesn't care because it's that serious. But he played it at E3 apparently. I played that build. Okay. From that build alone, I was ready to drop sixty dollars on the game. And just people like are willing to drop sixty dollars on Sonic Boom. Does not mean it was good. Was the game done? No. You know what I'm saying? Did it have a few issues? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. But overall, mm -hmm. looking at that game, graphically, it was mind-blowing. The gameplay at that particular time still felt really, really good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. The story of the game, the idea of these weapons and the way they work, the, the energy of the characters and the dialogue, like... From that 20 minute demo at E3, I was already like, yo, this game look like it's gonna be crazy. I, like, I wanna get it, I gotta play it. That's all part of the hype train. That's, why, that's why people that? buy like Call of Duty's every year. Because, I'm a because when you get oh, demo builds, game. they show you yeah, the best parts, whether they make final is. release or not. People don't understand the definition between a real gamer and a fake gamer, or why I even Wait, there's definitions now? Oh, oh, we're going here? All of that down in this video. Gamer, now, one who plays games. Me. Of this video, fake Doesn't gamer, matter. one who claims to play games, games but wants to dictate right? everything that a happens within the community, even racism, though they don't play games. And being black in America. Wait a minute. <laughs> hate with Wait, where is this going? Okay. Why did I say that, hip hop gamer? Why yeah, why did you say that? Racism. It's a game. Like, like, how, where, where does the lining meet and cross? You know, what is this about? So, listen, pay attention. Please don't tell me this is one of those videos where someone together, thinks in their right? head that this is the smartest thing the on the planet. Bring but then it breaks down to the dumbest ben, science you've ever heard. Kishura from Polygon.com. Oh, Jesus. Now, really, they're bringing that place up. <laughs> Sorry, BenKishura.com. Ben Kishura, he did an article. I believe this was last year. But, yeah, 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 I believe it was last year. So, this was very important, Sometime but you don't. Year have 100 percent certainty Biggie in your Shura facts did an article interesting and it basically encourages people to not buy a game or pre-order a game and stuff like that here's the first problem that we see in our industry today right see you got these people that have their own opinion that do reviews on these big websites that's funded by different type of companies Obviously, that's these how the internet works. E-commerce. Because they are on this big platform, and most people don't really have a mind of their own, so they look for others to kind of guide them in their decision making. Obviously, when it comes to buying games, or whether you should love a game or hate a game or whatever. A lot of there's a lot of power and influence, right? Obviously. So, it's one thing to give your opinion on something. If you don't like it or if you wasn't feeling it, that's one thing. You got a right to your own opinion. Fine. But when you encourage people to just believe in what you believe in and take it as fact, or when you encourage people to not buy a game because you think they shouldn't have it, now you are destroying the core component on why we love games in the first place and what this industry stands for. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you know what? what? It, where is this going? It's all about fairness. Things that I may like, you may not like. And things you like, I may not like. Obviously, I, that's the point of a review. Why would I encourage you to not like something just because I don't like it? You see what I'm saying? That's, that's what reviewers do. If industry. you do not like something, Everybody you should give to everything attack. to every Everybody reason why you don't so like it. To be negative. I mean, you know the saying? end, the decision is ultimately yours, so... Because when you go back and you turn on Super Mario Brothers back in the 80s, you wasn't thinking about, oh, 
you shouldn't play this game. I hate this game. Uh, well, obviously, because small. those games were actually the, the finished, complete, no it. DLC, no day one no patch, no internet it. involvement. You, you got a full video the game ex cartridge, experience game playing, from day one. I didn't need to go out and buy a game that was told to me that was going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, then only has a four and a half hour campaign, and most of it is 90% cutscenes. You remember so having a lot of those cutscenes that took up the whole gameplay of Super Mario? No. You it was 100% gameplay. You remember and those DLC patches for Mario, Mario Bros? That will come back do you remember that day one DLC so patch they had to so do so he didn't have that said, infinite jump glitch and like disappearing models and sprites? I bought my Super Nintendo. I got my Super Mario Bros. All-Stars Plus World. I booted up World and there was no Luigi. Is that just crazy? I had to get DLC for that. Come on, man. Yo, Hip Hop Gamers, where it's at? <laughs> right? So it was horrible. People was mad and upset, rightfully so. But being negative is not going to make that situation better. It's not going to make the game get fixed faster or nothing, nothing like that. In the worst case scenario, developers, publishers, people, in the worst case scenario, when a person is down, you provide the most positivity and the most encouragement. So, hey, Cottis, the, mm -hmm. the, the crew was a really shit game and it was really bad and didn't you know really work saying? right, right? So allow me to write a letter to Ubisoft saying, yo, I appreciate the effort, my boys. You know, they're always board. online. Yo, yo, dude, that's you fine. That, that's cool, G. That's cool. Know. All right, Pimpin', you following me? You what I'm but what you could have done, but yo, this is one of the greatest games of all time. So, if, if I'm giving them all this positive reinforcement, they have no reason to change because they I'm get positive things. We shouldn't reward failure. And neither should Simply you. put, when we shouldn't be complacent with opinion, this. Peace, you don't belong. In any industry. The thing is, the reason why we keep getting because broken games is because we keep buying these broken games, supporting them, and giving them that undeserved pat on the back. <clears throat> and this man says if your title involves anything that says that you shouldn't buy this or you shouldn't buy that, you don't be, you don't deserve to be in this industry. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the title of your video right now. The Order 1886 is a victim of racism like blacks in America kill hate with love. Look, I thought this was a Boogie 2998 or whatever his name is video just by the title. But now I'm seeing you. People what is this? And they don't even make games, don't even understand what it takes, but yet I suppose he's not wrong, but that's one of the problems. It seems very long winded. You know, the average person is going to read the town, but they're going to just dislike the video. They aren't even going to watch it. Now, me and Arthur. But this guy, Twitter, that would be one thing if he wasn't wrong, but he is. I don't have no beef with nobody, you know what I'm saying? But um, we had a Twitter conversation, and he said that his job, in his job description, in his job description, he has to be critical. So what does that mean? That means that any given chance or opportunity, even when there is none, I have to be critical. So that means that... Is there someone in the background of his house screaming? Game, That's what it sounds like, like. Everything worked great. There's like really no problems or no flaws. It's just a great game. But because your job is to be critical, you're going to find something to complain about, something to bitch about. You're going to try your That's best what reviewers to and critiquers do. Or point out something stupid just to... Would you like to go open GameSpot, look up the first review, and they simply say, It's good. That doesn't tell me anything. I need details. I ain't brought y'all, I'm telling you right now, God of War 4, yo, it's one of the best you know games to ever hit the PS4. Yo, That's get the quad right squad, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag PSN, hashtag Sony Pony Nation, yeah. hashtag Kratos Since on Crack, aka the greatest game of all time, Let's aka go. the greatest so gore fest of the game. Oh, wait. Black in America. Oh, oh, he was serious and about this. Oh, let me cut my joke industry. short. I need to hear this. Yeah. The order, when you look at this game, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people is like, that got a chance to play the retail copy. Oh, the game is only five hours long or it's only this. Now, you know what's so funny? There's games that could be 20 hours long and the experience could not be good. And then you got games like, for example, Life is Strange that I just finished playing, even though it was only one episode, but it wasn't no super long game. 
in terms of that first episode, but that experience was incredible. But even better yet, P.T. P.T. There's a prime What's difference. The order is six dollars. Life is strange is five dollars. Life is strange is a free not triple A title. Demo of a game with amazing graphics, amazing sound that will scare the shit out of you. More so than a lot of games that sixty dollars on the market right now. Including the order. You feel me? A free demo is better than certain games on the market right now that's sixty dollars this free de demo is not a, a real long game a lot of people may beat it in 40 minutes an hour some even two hours because of the way the puzzle is designed and figuring things out but the scare factor the, the horror in it and all the other stuff is better designed than a lot of games that's sixty dollars so what does that say about pt PT is a steal. I would pay to play PT. But this isn't about PT. This Looking is about the order. Look at the Ground Zeroes. $30 game for like two levels. But real talk, the experience... But here's the thing. There's that always game different experience values for, sure. for everything. And that game was $30. I've yet to hear you compare you know, a $60 game to a $60 game. I'm going to just say that because there's no, no spoilers. But that experience was like, yo, that, I mean... It's crazy. So it doesn't matter how long or how short. It's all about the experience. And that's what it's always been about. The experience. I can be Super Metroid in an hour and a half, two hours. You know what I'm saying? It does not mean that the game is the greatest that's game of all time in the history of, of the world in terms of stats. In terms of time that because takes to play. As long as you enjoy the experience. Hey, look, it's a fine racism. game. It's a great game. Right, so. If but that's not the like, point. It's all about the value. Oh, I don't want to serve. I don't Sometimes do two or, hours for sixty dollars is a terrible value. Sometimes or, two you know, hours for six dollars is a great value. Let me tell you something about Super Metroid, people okay? You can play that game scared. over and over and over yeah, and over and learn something new each time you play the game. No this is a game that tries to be a movie. After you know the plot, there's really no point to play it anymore, especially when the first boss and the last boss are the exact same boss fight. You know what I'm saying? The game didn't even release yet. And so many people in the industry is attacking it. You know what I'm saying? For nothing. Nothing. I'm sure they have a reason. That's one. Two. It appears to me that a lot of people that are playing video games nowadays, they have no appreciation of what it takes to even make a game or the game industry or the culture as a whole. But you want to know why that's been developed? Because a lot of these journalists that get paid to be so-called journalists to report and talk about games are a bunch of bitches as well. Is there someone in the next room? About something. It was complaining about something. Like you are oh, right now. Destiny wasn't this. It should have been that and blah, blah, blah. No, it shouldn't have. It should have been exactly what it was because real talk, that's what Bungie said. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I and I don't support that, dog. and I don't I give them my saying. money. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Didn't you start Everybody this video off saying, if I don't like it, right? You remember that? Remember the point he tried to make? If I don't like it, you can like it, and if you like it, I cannot like it. Remember that? Yeah. But now he's the law. He's Sylvester Stallone. This is not what we're here He's Judge Dredd. Hip-hop the law. If you don't like something about the game, express it, be professional about it, fine. But it's one way, you could be one way, you could be positive in your approach. The thing is, when it comes to so writing reviews, there's so many different ways to tackle it. You can't just really, you know, there's no, like, set way to do Game it. There's no standard review formula. Because if there was, everyone would be doing reviews and everyone would be succeeding. Some people like to use satire and humor. Some people like to tell it straight. There's lots of different ways. Be real with one another. You don't gotta be an asshole about it. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing that bothers me. I don't understand it. I'm the ass part of their stick. The order. Now the next thing I want to talk about is this. If you this don't cool like that reviewer the, style, the, um, then don't Andre take the review into consideration. Name, Pacino, the Go look for other people's reviews. I'm sure there's a 
few dozen yeah, hundred reviews for the order. Say, I blame myself. I blame myself. Maybe we should have related the message. No, don't blame shit. You ain't do nothing. All you did was make a great game. That's it. No. I'm a, to be more realistic, all you did was work hard to try to make the best possible game, game that your studio can make. So far, it looks beautiful from what I've experienced. The little bit I've experienced looks beautiful. Oh, so he hasn't even played the official build yet. So, so what is he talking about? This. He's going don't, strictly off the reviews people made? Say sorry for no, he's going strictly off the simple fact that when he played the E3. They don't need to buy that. I thought he at least played the game. You know what I'm saying? And the main people that's complaining is going to be the same ones that be online buying that joint. You know what I'm saying? It's like people who just hate for the sake of hating because it's interesting. It's entertaining. People respond to negativity. So they do it because their lives is boring and they need attention. <laughs> Real talk. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's uh, sad to see this in our I'm industry. sorry, you, you're you wearing this Echo Unlimited, you, you, know you got saying? that stuff but in your room, and I'm hearing people in the other room talking you know? about whatever they're talking about. You just want to hate. You getting this verbal over something not that serious. For the sake of being negative, and you don't and we're the ones who have life chance. issues. Being black in America, exactly like that. Wait, well, well a lot okay. Of times they don't want to give us a chance. They don't take black people for the most part at face value. We gotta what? Do 20 or 40 He's one of these kind of people. Just Wait, they don't take black people at face like, value? Hard. That's exactly what they do. And this game you look at a black person at face value and assume that things. Nasty, dirty, negative, racist I think it's the same for a lot of people. It needs to stop. And people like Dick and Shira are the guys that if you're not going to be a part of the solution, then it means you're part of the problem. Wake up. You're with us or against us? If you get fired from Polygon and you go work for a game company and you guys is banking on this game selling because y'all have to make money to feed your family, I wonder how you feel if somebody told the company you work for and the game that you was putting out that nobody should buy it, neither should you. I wanna see that's the thing. People don't think about the whole story and how shit could be flipped on them. You yeah, we do. That's Trust me, we do. Thinking, Trust right? me, we do. Real talk. So, but if a game is garbage and it don't work the way it's supposed to, there's mechanical flaws. Mr. Pacino, you do not have We're to, allowed to talk about it. for nothing. Ready at Dawn is a great team. I love their games. Keep kicking ass, yo. Keep kicking that ass. Period. You know what I'm saying? To finish it off. When you look at television shows like The Walking Dead, Power, Empire, Scandal, when they come on, they got a certain airtime. So when that comes on, everybody get a chance to see it at the same time. And then the whole world can decide whether they like this episode or didn't or whatever, whatever. But this is the way I feel games should be released. Show your trailer at E3 or your developer diaries, whatever, show it off. Right? Let people know what's coming. The more and more you polish your game and get it ready for people to check out. That's the thing. So they don't. Check out in terms of demos and stuff. People do like not polish. Or whatever, get it up to a certain time. Get up to a certain point where you're happy with it. Then let people try it out, play it, and stuff like that. If you got another event where it's even more polished and it's coming close to release, have another event. Invite the people out. Let them play it and stuff like that. When the game is ready to release, no early review copies. Huh? Period. Kill it. End it. No more early review copies for every company. When the game comes out, it comes out for the whole world to experience. We're living in a social media network world. You know that's right? only going to delay the chain so that already happens, right? I'm not going to buy it until the reviews are out. Think about it. Yeah. You'll get some people, but you won't get everyone. And, and that'll slow down the sales even more. You want to know why? Because it helps eliminate the bullshit influence that people have when they go looking for other reviews and stuff like that. When the game comes out, they could kind of be influenced by the team themselves. So it's more of a relationship between consumer and creator as opposed to the middle man or the middle woman in terms of consumer, journalist, creator. Don't let your message of your game get passed through people that won't appreciate your shit. Talk directly to the people that rock with you and that support you. 
and blow up that way. You know what I'm saying? I know so what you're look, saying. On that note, I just want to say one love. God bless. Thanks for the support. It's the one and only hip hop gamer, man. I'm glad he's the one and only. I couldn't I take more of him. This, <clears throat> it's crazy. But this game is getting like racism, like negativity and treatment. No. Where, was, where, where was he at when all the other games got the same the treatment? This is, is not the first time this happened. Give game a chance to stop being a bitch about everything. You right. might want to tell the people in the other room, they might want to pipe down. Maybe that's why he cut off the video, man. That's what he's about to go do. <laughs> but as you can see, the like and dislikes um, are definitely askew. This was not a liked video. This was very cringeworthy, to say the least, to be fairly honest with you. Um, Mr. Spatch, uh, what is it that you think of what just transpired here? He could have worded it significantly better. He he shouldn't have used such a clickbaity video title. The thing is, what he said, like, holding back review copies, you know, a lot of people are like, I want to see the reviews first. You know, I, the thing is, no one wants to pay 60 of their hard-earned dollars to buy a game that they have no idea is going to be good, especially in this day and age. Back then, you looked at the box like, hey, this looks interesting, I think I'll buy it now. Today, it's like, I approach with caution. Because okay. you don't know if the game's going to be gold. Because you remember, be shit. day one, I get the crew. How do, Have I played, have I even beat the crew? No, I got 80% through the game. I, no, no, that game is awful. I wouldn't recommend it to a soul. I wouldn't recommend it to the biggest racing fans I know because I, t I am the biggest racing fan that I know. So, would you rather play that or Need for Speed Most Wanted? Boot up Cheetahman, baby. <laughs> Take me back to the old school. Yo, I will play through every game of Action 52 before I have to start a new game with the crew. I'm not a rapper, but I'm for real though. I, I really would. The, the thing is, you know, today... I'm just gonna let's let's go with the unpopular opinion like in this economy, you know I don't want to spend money on things. I, I I barely the only time I buy games are normally on sale I don't I get very few day one buys Like last year I can't remember why I actually bought on the first day. I, I don't think I bought anything day one last year But according to this guy everyone needs to buy day no, one no, no, and no. fall I, in love with everything I got Pokemon Alpha Sapphire day one I got that day one, but I expected it to be good, and it was good because you know Nintendo still has that has at least a bar of quality. They don't and have I never played the original, so where DLCs broken and things don't work right. Typically, everything is fixed. Everything works. But yeah, very few games I'll go by day one. Would you say the same for yourself? The only game I've bought day one in the past three years is The Crew, and it was a very, 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 very regrettable decision, and it was not what was best for business. The thing is, let, let, let's say for you, you bought day one, and that totally turned you off from anything else. Like, if they made The Crew 2... Absolutely or, not. I, I will tell everyone that I know. Look, be careful what you're getting in with, getting into with the crew. I played the first one. It was awful. It was gobbledygook. They will take a 90% increase of good things to come out of this sequel to make the game even playable. Not even good. Playable. Like, the only way you'd buy that is on, on extreme discount if they made the crew too. Because here's the thing about the crew. After I saw what they did with the crew, I didn't even want to buy Far Cry 4. And I have it. Bad games hurt your company. They hurt the brand. And by proxy, they hurt everything that you make in the future. Like Sega. Sega thought they could do whatever they want. They just threw everything out there. And they all messed it up. Hey, you seen the Sega Dreamcast 2? Or the Sega Stratosphere? Oh, wait. Though, those are not consoles that ever existed because Nintendo had to bail them out. How about that Shenmue 3? Oh, wait. But, you know, apparently the hip-hop gamer, you know, doing it the Sega way is what was best for business. Doing I it the Midway way is what was best for business. Midway only was able to salvage some of their people. 
by becoming NetherRealm Studios. And by NetherRealm Studios, I just mean the Ed, Be Ed Boon sector. And by Ed. that, I mean they had the Mortal Kombat IP under the belt. That's it. Yeah, that's all I had. Like, everything else midway, like, what do they do to it? Did they dissolve, or did they sell parts off? I, I don't even know, actually. For example, Rareware. When they decided we're going to change what Donkey Kong is all about, and he's going to be a musician now, I guess the hip-hop gamer, that was what was best for business. You just go out and buy the game because Donkey Kong's on it, regardless if the game is good or not. You just don't even look at reviews. Everyone just has to go out and buy the game because they hear a game has Donkey Kong in it, they buy it, and it is not what they thought it was. The thing is, reviews are good, and, you, you know, if you don't like that reviewer's style, if you think they're too critical, too nitpicky, go to another reviewer. I'm sure there's a bunch of people reviewing every single game that comes out. Also, this guy said movies and TV shows are like that, and yeah, that's cute. But there's this thing called a movie theater, and there are things called early screenings, and there are things called reviewer-only screenings, and critic-only screenings. So... What the hell is this man talking about? Especially when, um, remember when those new TV shows come out and it's already critically acclaimed? Yeah, you, you haven't had a chance to watch it yet and it's already critically acclaimed. So what on this planet is this man talking about when he made that point? And the thing is a movie is going to cost you, just strictly movies, going to cost you maybe 10 to 15 bucks. Game is a much bigger investment. In time and in money. Because this is a game that's arguably short and it's five hours. The Titanic itself isn't even five hours, I do not believe. I think it pushes hours? five, maybe like four, four, like four and a half tops. If you take a break between part one and two. I remember when that was two VHS tapes. That's crazy, dog. Run time is 194 minutes, so that's a little over three hours. Push, pushing on the four hour limit but not quite but the thing is this game is arguably short and it's longer than one of the longest movies that has ever been made that was and, popular. And, and it costs about four times as much to own the thing and it does not have replayability in any sense and because it's more of a movie than a game I can watch a let's play of it for free and get the exact same value out of it than, as playing it and that is the biggest dilemma that this game and games like it face. Like Rise. I could play Rise. I could do quick time events. That's cute and all. That, that's real cute. But let's be completely honest on what we're doing here. I could easily watch a Let's Play of it. Turn it on 1080p. And just watch it and enjoy the artistry of the models. The architecture of the cities that they made. You know, the way that the animators took real time and effort into developing the characters and actually setting the mood through the story and the visuals and bada boom bada bing I have every experience that you had and I haven't even had to make a $60 purchase and because I'm not playing the game it's probably going to be done much faster and I probably saved myself some minutes and that's if you really care about the story anyway if you don't care about the story at all then you won't waste your, you won't waste any time and that's what the purpose of these reviews are. Because that TV analogy really just kind of grinded my gears. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I don't see how someone is that off base. Like, when Emp before that show Empire that he specifically brought up even, even appeared, all I heard was people were reviewing it. And, you know, there's this thing called a pilot that you have to pitch to people to even get on the air. Ooh, I, I guess you didn't think about that reviewing process, did you? Most shows don't exist that have been created because no one wanted them. Yeah, some shows just get nicks before they even have a chance. They could have been good. We'll never know. But, you know, shout outs to my boy Hip Hop Gamer, really speaking the truth, apparently. He knows everything about everything, you know what I mean? He's really popping it out there, you know, showing the world what's popping, you know, one love, everybody, you know, no frauds included, you know? You what know I mean? what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dog? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't playing, you know what I'm saying, man? Because I'm doing it all day, you feel me? I'm not a rapper, you know what I mean? Hip Hop Gamer for life! word swag hashtag follow me on twitter at the black rapper aka parappa the rapper's black cousin aka follow me on instagram because i'm 101 love aka i'm every black stereotype in the book you feel me you feel me fam you aka feel me, fam? xx black x 
you, you know the rest. Mm. This was an ordeal. 